What's up guys, just want to check in with you real quick. I appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart for your support and your patience. Uh, we are completely sold out of Titan Fuel right now across the board, but we've got a solution in route. We've got a big shipment coming of Fiber Greens and the Sour Grape. Uh, for the OG Cherry Limeade lovers, we got some of those uh, in the process and uh, we're gonna get those out to you as soon as possible. Very soon, expect the stem free fat burner incinerate. I've got it cooking, and uh, the dusted caps will um, follow shortly after that. So, just want to update y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's time to get right for summer, baby. That's why I'm pressing it because I want this stuff. It's, it's go time. So, all right, stay tuned. I'll keep y'all posted. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, races, ectomorph, mesomorph, endomorph, whatever you like, pizza, burgers, cookies, this is your podcast and it is a great day today. What'd you think about that intro I just made up in the shower, Casey? I thought you were Did you write it down? No, I just made it up in the shower. <laughs> I was like, man, I at least need to say something that we can clip something and we can start having some <laughs> little Instagram little clips. Cause I haven't put much on montage there, uh, handle. <laughs> yeah. You're going you're gonna to post that though. And someone's going to be offended that you didn't say whatever they identify as. So. Oh, I missed Good one. Good luck. Yeah. You I probably missed like 150. Walk yeah. in a slippery slope there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I figured. Just you should have said cool was, cats and kittens. I, I figured yeah. races was pushing it. So I just wanted to clean it up for everybody but uh yeah, hey what do y'all know what do y'all know good um i got legs later about to uh i'm gonna try uh, six and a half on the old old cybex hack today for 10 Ooh. that's fun bands yeah. are no bands one very light band okay because i hate when people load up stuff and use bands i'm like just do the weight <laughs> it's a fix it's a fix to the machine and it does feel good but it's a super slim one and to uh -huh. take it off would be disrespectful yeah it just it just kind of makes it smoother almost it, i may be getting 20 pounds off that band in the bottom okay yeah that's not bad hey, yeah. listen listen he, Casey. Yeah, those people are like He's got those Go old ahead. knees. He's got those old knees, boy. You need a little. Yeah, as I say, some little, people say yeah. it saves their knees, but when you're putting on 600 pounds and taking 500 pounds off, just lighten the weight, dude. Like I seen this dude at my gym, and he had um the the hammer strength pull down machine, and he banded it up, and he only had two plates on. I'm like, there's room for three more plates. I'm like, why are you throwing bands on doing hold little form when he still could improve on those two plates by themselves? Yeah, because but, a back, and especially that exercise, because you're going to be weaker in the shortened position. So you yeah. might as well just fucking. That's what I'm saying. Lengthen. But you band it all up. I'm like, why is why are people doing this? I, I feel like they think they know what they're doing. And I, they could yeah. see someone online doing a band. So they just band everything. I'm yeah. like, they, just, just do the basics. Accommodating resistance is good, but a lot of people overdo it. Wait, because if you don't even have that full growth, like if you're at top level, yeah. If you need to make that extra amount, yeah. you know? Yeah. But if you're like, just a regular joe schmo why are you banning it and that same thing with like the yeah. mark bell slingshot like everyone be putting them on to like give oh, away like, yeah. oh my god don't well, here's, like, here's, just do good form with like what you can handle here's one of the things and uh while we're on the topic is i went to the gym last night it was a two a day i don't usually do two a day weights um i do every now and then i'll sprinkle it in um uh, just to burn a little more calories and fine-tune some things and last night i went and did just a few, probably five or six sets of back. And I just rigged up the cable towers, kind of like what you have, James. And uh, just took the handles and just drug them back like that. And people are looking at me like, what's he doing? Well, I, I guess that, I guess that works. You know, I just, I just completely made something up, but I let my mind and the mind muscle connection, you got to, you got to drill that. And if you're not drilling that, then you're probably not isolating your muscle groups like you're trying to. That's why James can go work out two times a day every day because he can isolate. What'd you do this morning? Hams or quads? Hams. And you're going to go do quads and it, later tonight. And it was all, and it was almost all knee flexion. Yeah. So I didn't really do much hip extension. Right. So I didn't want to like stress my glutes out too bad. Right. For today. Yeah, yeah, so I did yeah. basically everything that went tax a hack squat. 
which is like late girls and stuff, you know. That's like the old Lee Haney split. Hit half in the morning, half at night. That's so, dude, I, I hate long training sessions. I like yeah. like forty. I got forty five minute session for me is like oh. that's money. You know? And then I I'll think it like, depends. I think it depends on the gym and stuff, and who's like if like, you get a good training partner. I don't mind being there for like two to three hours. Me neither. But like by and I, yourself and, I, and stuff and like yeah. especially la fitness i'm like all these people just stare at you all the time i'm like you get in get out i'm like no <laughs> yeah so i train late i train quads with my buddy and we just we take as much time as we want to rest and we bullshit and it's a good time and i don't mind it but if i'm yeah. by myself training i just want to get in and get out yeah train alone it's like such short rest i train more like jay cutler alone than with someone else i train yeah. more like a, i guess doran yates not as intense yeah. but all right yeah. so we're getting close to our little 15 minute intro uh we got a couple here. rants in there for the for the yeah yeah, clips yeah, on yeah. we yeah we got a little something going on but we We're need all to getting know hungry, so it's gonna come out of us. <laughs> hey listen i haven't eaten yet today don't don't be talking about too much um uh, hey, listen listen to this food, so. listen to this i haven't eaten today okay here's where we hit on our weights real quick um so this morning i was 264.4 Okay, took three poops, two before the gym, one after because I ate a lot of meals last night before bed on the good fiber greens, so it's moving. And uh, so I sweat for an hour and a half, whatever, did an hour cardio, I, I did an hour, 45 minutes back, and I got in a sauna for about 15 and stretched. I mean, I freaking killed it and in a little posing, got back, weighed. 254.2 i lost 10.2 pounds from the time i woke up this morning even after drinking you're just getting you know, your body used to that weigh in for this year yeah <laughs> i gotta start practicing my fasting yeah. techniques for later this year for nine weeks baby yeah nine you're, weeks. Nine, you're nine weeks yeah so. That's hey, close. single digits now baby so oh, you're, like, you're gliding man yeah last year i started at about eight so trying to get a couple weeks head start there. Yeah. So what's y'all's weights? Uh, it was 274. Dang. Hey, you bounced <laughs> up. You, you must have, you must have had a couple burgers on the golf cart yesterday. <laughs> he, he got off the felon. He got off the felon for a day. Uh, no, you get, uh, no you, my weight. That's what happens with me. I do like a big drop when I first start. Yeah. And then my weight just will get to a point and then it kind of just like, I guess yeah. get like leaner, but around the same weight. And for me, it's like 270. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And I did I did have like a box of rice checks last night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all the extra sodium. Yeah. In you the middle of the night. Yeah, like at yeah. like 2 a.m. Yeah. See, see, you're that, you're still <laughs> flexible. You're a little bit more flexible than me right now. Just a I tad just, bit. I was fucking hungry. So yesterday no, I, bought I, made, a, I bought a jar of peanut butter last night, ate half of it. With, check, with three check, icon meals and check a bowl out the, of oatmeal check out my activity yesterday man i did uh back in the morning oh, no. back and by then i those golfed for days. fucking six hours dude and then, those I, went, two days then i got then I, then I got home and i hit back and buys up again and then i yeah i was just just crushing it man because it was, it was cart only it so you couldn't take the cart off because that was yeah. it rained real bad the night before huh. So we had to do so much more walking, and I was just like, "Dead." <laughs> hey, did y'all play nine or eighteen? Eighteen. Oh yeah, that's that's some cardio right there, Bob. Se second place in the tournament. Oh really? Out of, like, out of thirty teams. So you're actually not bad really? at golf. No, I'm actually pretty good at golf. A lot of people are commenting how bad my swing was, but I'm not. It lying gets the job. It gets the job done. I'm not lying to you. I do that swing because it eliminates my slice, but I'm like three hundred down the middle. About 80, 89 percent of my drives. Nice. Really? Yeah. So oh. we always, we almost always use my driver, and then if I got it, if I'm on a team with a good iron game, good wedge game, we're good. Dude, dude, I need to link you up with my buddy. I, I think I told you about that. He's got that uh, golf uh, subscription service, and yeah. he'll shoot you. He'll shoot you one. Hey, as long as you plug it on your story, you know. Oh yeah. That way, that way he can start digging into the sneaker crowd and people you know what i mean i love golf but the problem is it hurts my bodybuilding endeavors because my lower back gets pretty sore from it yeah 
from because the rotation it's, it's unnatural uh, movement it's almost yeah. like a small strain ain't it yeah because most most pro golfers have like bad lower yeah. backs yeah really? and so yeah because it's it's a yeah, lot of rotation and then so when your back's not feeling good then you gotta go deadlift or squat you know it's like yeah my back <laughs> can, can you golf with a band <laughs> the band <laughs> band it up <laughs> hey i i got a buddy off of uh titan games ron steenberg and he won like the world long drive contest like two or oh, three those, years those guys are yeah. intense yeah oh, he's a stud and he was on titan games he's like 230 just stacked mobile you know, just, those just, guys mobility oh, is great dude his, dude his hips you yeah. wouldn't believe he was training some things, doing some stuff. Let me see those hips. Like, Swing. <laughs> <laughs> right there, perfect timing. Yeah. But he he made up. Uh, he invented something. Uh, it's like a some type of twitch trainer, and it's just got like weighted something on the end and a in a. I've stick seen that. In I've seen that. It, yeah, that's his. It, that's his it, invention. It corrects your uh, if you're casting or not yeah on your on your swing so it increases your club head speed yeah so dang got all kinds of connections huh yeah. so what's casey's weight he's yeah, holding out on us he's holding out on us no on we just here? rambled we rambled yeah, yeah you're I'm right just, i'm just going back <laughs> up right now so i was 260 261 this morning so weight's going up but i've been eating clean and technically eating less calories i'm just you know getting uh, a little bit swollen again Repartioning. Look, look, at, look at the cup. Mm -hmm. Look at the cup there. That was the money. That yeah, got off Amazon. Right if anyone's wondering, it says nom 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 <laughs> nom nom nom. The camera might say mon 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 like Monday, but yeah. Hey, look at this. So, yeah, this this is a this is a good story right here. D's Deep diner dinner. diner best breakfast in town. That's on the bank, little tag. <laughs> just hey, lots. Listen, nothing listen on the back. <laughs> just lots and rhomboids. Listen, I got so many of them. I don't know if they got <laughs> stuff on the back or not. <laughs> that so, look? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> look at that vacuum. Yeah, see the vein through the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen to this. This is a good story. All right, so there was a bodybuilding show in Owensboro, Kentucky Open. I had a couple clients in it and uh i wasn't in prep and you know after the shows we went out had a good time ate ate pizza all night drank beer you know just had a good old time celebrating <laughs> and uh so i lost my card at the restaurant at the pizza place i hate doing that the night before so i didn't have i didn't have anything on me that's all i had was one credit card no cash nothing and uh i had my phone but you know how many little rinky dink joints are going to take a paypal or something like that you know so so here's what happened i was like guys uh i'm kind of hungry for breakfast but i ain't got no money <laughs> and uh they said well, we have, over. yeah they said well <laughs> we have a uh, we have a six pound omelet challenge I don't know uh, if you've ever heard about it. I was like, no, I was like, for real. And I looked it up on foodchallenges.com uh, or Eat Feats, one of the places, D's Diner, and six pound omelet. And if you can eat it in an hour, it's free. Well, that's easy. So, so listen to this. An hour? So, Wait. so, so one of my clients <laughs> was like, he's done researched it and he was like he's like man i've been wanting to do this for a long time he said he said i'm going there man you you need to go there and you need to do it too i was like okay so shit you better you didn't know money yeah yeah listen i was like man i was like to be honest with you y'all know me i was like i, I can fast i ate like crap the night before multiple pizzas i mean <laughs> i'm i'll make it home you know but then they was like, no, you need to do it. And, you know, I was kind of hung over. So I was like, man, uh, they talked me into it. You know, I was like, man, that would probably be good on this hangover. Get some, you know, good old country cooking in you. And uh, so the three guys went before me. I showed up late. They were all tapped out by the time I got there. They were all like, 
oh. <laughs> their, their time clock was still rolling. One had like half of it left. One of it had uh, <laughs> just had gotten into it, you know. And uh, I think the closest guy, there was like a – he had a third left. And uh, he's like, man, you, I don't know. He's like, I've seen you do some crazy stuff. I was like, okay. So, ordered it. I was like, the pressure's on now, guys. I don't even have – I don't have no money. So, you know, it's a $20, $30, $30 breakfast. I was like, hey, so one of y'all is going to have to cover me if I can't do it. And he's like, all right, we got you. <laughs> but but I like the feeling of having to eat to survive. I don't have no money. Hey, I, f- I found myself in this situation, and I've got to eat my way out of this place because I don't have no money. So, so I got – I went out to uh, Jeep, put some pit pipers on – or. I had some Ray-Bans at the time. I put them on, and I was like, man, it's game time now. And they brought it out. I beat it in nine minutes and 59 seconds, the all-time record. <laughs> nine minutes? Goodness. Yeah. Six, six pounds, and it had, uh, I think it was uh, four pieces of toast with it. How gross and that was the restaurant so, staff. So, so, so <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like around minute nine. I was finishing up my omelet. I was like, hey, y'all got any jelly or any honey? Or something i need something for his toast <laughs> and they went and got jelly and i jelly them suckers up man and beat it in 9:59. and uh actually uh in the major league eating world it was you know kind of a little banter going on because i called out the number two guy in the world uh jeffrey esper because he did it in 10 minutes i beat him by one second i was like hey uh, i guess my ranking better go up my my ranking better go on up. If, Imagine you know. if you didn't jelly. You know, it's if you just went straight. Yeah, yeah, but jelly, but then, jelly but then again, but then again, he is, stuck is, throat. <laughs> he is the Jeffrey Esper guy that did it. <laughs> he's an absolute stud. Like him and Joey Chestnut split half and half a lot. Oh, really? You know, besides hot dogs, Joey owns hot dogs, and nobody will ever come close. It's ridiculous. So some dude out of Japan comes out that's been training for a couple of years. Remember when the Japanese guy, I forgot his name, yeah, yeah. came Kobe out of Yashi. nowhere and he yeah. just doubled, doubled everybody's score. Yeah, but like, that, that's whoa. when jo- that's when Joey came out and put yeah. him to bed. You know what I mean? So I don't someone any... watching out there, someone yeah. watching needs to come put Joey to bed because I ain't doing it. Hey, listen, you got to be able to you got to be able to drink some water. I'll tell you that much. Hey, they say he can drink four gallons of water in 10 minutes. <laughs> Most people would die on my first gallon. <laughs> can you imagine? Dude, what, Farley, what did you, imagine- you do? Three liters that one time? Yeah, yeah. How'd you do it? I almost Three died. I, I almost know, died. dude. <laughs> I know, man. That's painful. That's why Joey's so good. That's how big his stomach can stretch. That's fucking, you know? I felt like I got punched in the gut by Mike Tyson. <laughs> It had you tearing up, wanting to puke, Dude, everything else. It had me, had me bent over <laughs> on the counter. <laughs> hey, it it opens you up though, didn't it? Oh, I got that nine pound pizza down. Dude, that was impressive. <laughs> that was impressive. I saw that sucker and I was like, that ain't no joke right there. I've seen some pizza. Nine pounds. The yeah. Best part about it was I did it in fucking Burley's pizza pump shirt. Yes. <laughs> with some, that's with a, some that's a classic. Yeah, matching Jays. That's a classic right there. I'm gonna have to dig that one up. Let's uh, let's hit some uh, questions here, guys. I gotta hop on mine before they expire on my story. I'm a bad uh, patron of this broadcast. I did not do questions today. <laughs> I posted it late, but I got a couple. I'll just start let's with the first one, one while Bartley okay. looks. So, um, I think we've touched on this before as a like little pastime, but. What's the lowest uh, you've ever been on in prep in terms of calories? And let's throw in cardio in there as well. That was one of the questions about how much cardio and how low in calories for how long? 2,400 in 70 minutes. It's my lowest. Nice. Mine is two hours and 1,600. Yeah, mine's about Bartley's two hours. And that's just, I just walk though. I do two to three hours, depending on how I'm feeling. And I then was, it's- um, Mine was walking too. Yeah, just incline walking or walking around the um, the pond across the street. And then I got down to 1,500, and that's just straight meat and salt. <laughs> and that's we, salt. like, yeah. we have partly pretty do similar Maybe. stuff. We'll go really low and then have a high day. 
and people think we just eat the high day for fun. But if you look at the trend of our weight loss, it's actually scheduled like that on purpose because we get that refill to like gin for a couple of days, then we dip down a couple of pounds and then we go back up a couple of pounds. And so it's consistent. Hey, so I, you can still I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's good is hitting two high days in a row and then bottoming it out for three or four days. I've always done good with that. I mean, on the third end. day, you look amazing. Oh, yeah. I do, I do that on the at the end when I'm real yeah. low. I'll yeah, do definitely. It two a I can't yeah. warn it till up to the end, though. Uh -huh. I feel like it works well, too, if you do, like, a high, dirty day and then a moderate, clean day and then go back to no on the third day because everything flushes and you look really tight and full. As I said, with classic, you have to weigh in and get on stage, so. Yeah. <laughs> that <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> That's what sucks about it, man. I know. <laughs> you want me to fill out in eight hours? You know you don't sleep the night before. Yeah. Well, I think that's why a lot of pros, like Arash Rabar looked better when he was lighter because he didn't have to struggle to make weight. And then a lot of them, yeah. they struggle to make weight and then they can't get that pop back. And then it's yeah. like, you know, it's over. Yeah. I think that's why Chris is so dangerous too because his body, for whatever reason, just holds nice fullness even when he's like dry yeah. and weighs in. And now he has that extra 10 pounds. So Hey, I got to hit that... Uh... Got to hit that waist trainer. I was hanging over his table, gut hanging out. Hey, that's what. Hey, that posture, dude. Get mine. Get mine. Makes a difference. Sunk in. <laughs> you keep it sunk in when you're I'm leaning been, forward. Been hitting the vacuum this whole time. No. <laughs> oh, <I'll> fine. <laughs> no. Twenty minutes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. What do y'all think? You got a question here. Uh, what do you think about pickle juice for pre-workout pump? I think that would make me disgusting when I want to throw up. <laughs> I think you could just use you could just use sea salt yeah. and uh, yeah. EAAs or something. Yeah. See, if I had if or, I had all that um, vinegar, I'd be uh, running right to the bathroom. So that's not going to work for me. Hey, but hey, yeah. dude, I will tell you one thing. All right, obviously I make my own pre-workout supplement, so I take it all the time. You know. But every now and then when I'm hungry and I'm like, dang it, man, I need to eat something, but I can't be doing no calories, man, but I need something salty. Hey, I hit a, hit a pickle or two, man. Like last night when I went to the gym, second session, when my veins are just everywhere, I ate like three pickles before I went to the gym. I ate eight ounces of steak, three pickles, and uh, an Icon Meals custom breakfast with pancake turkey bacon and eggs <laughs> yeah that's what i ate when i got off work last night i was like all right let's go hit it the pickles work so i tell my clients to take the pickles so i used to do that um you get you get good pumps and then the no calories though you get like i've gotten yeah. sucked away with that back in the day i just eat yeah. pickles all the time because yeah. i'm like yeah. <laughs> hungry <laughs> and now i have clients uh, that do the same thing i'm like man i should be prescribed pickles too. <laughs> yeah. i tell it's people a, to eat pickles too yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a healthy snack there, but you know. When you find yourself in a pickle, eat a pickle. Um, how do you balance volume and strength training? Do what you love and have fun with it. I like that. I like that answer. I mean, you, uh, if you have more fun, you're gonna get better results. So it's hard to even tell people like, hey, if you don't like lifting, like. We've all probably had a client we put on a program. There's like, man, I'm not having fun. I'm like, okay, what do you enjoy doing more? You know, but yeah. I've had clients too that are lifestyle. They're like, I don't even like going to the gym. I'm like, well, then go play soccer if you like playing soccer. <laughs> like, let me let me see what he looks happy. like. Let me see if he looks like more of a bodybuilder or a well, powerlifter. So I think people get the terms misconstrued. This volume training is still fucking intense. Like some people think that like you don't know, like <laughs> train intense, but you just, yeah. Well, still... they think they think you're not going to train to failure if you do volume, but you actually hit like and you get more painful reps in volume training. You have to be able to work through that pain. That's what the difference I felt. Like if you're doing 20, 20 to thirty reps on a um, leg press, your legs are burning for at least half of that. Yeah, as opposed to like fail, like you know low rep heavy training, it's like maybe one or two reps you get a little burn and then you yeah, but tap you, out because you, you can't just press. You just said a really good point there that makes me what was was what I was trying to say was you said half the time your legs are burning, but a lot of people they'll just do 20, 30 reps and it's easy 20, 30 reps. Yeah. What no. you described is yeah. a fucking balls yeah. out set. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? So, which is, that's how I like to train is more volume, but like just endure the pain, you know, because I feel right. like you're like risking less injury too. And you're getting a crazy pump at the same time. And it's just more fun for me. Yeah. Like, I, get less, like, I train yeah. like Ronnie, I train like Ronnie, but half the weight. <laughs> that's how I train like Jay. Jay, I love, I love the volume, you know, I hate, I hate training like that. You do. I love, I love the supersets and volume and freaking I like wearing super it out. Sets. I, I like, I like more heavier sets and then like intensity. Techniques. I, I usually only do three sets of each exercise though. When y'all do three or four. The most. It, depend, it depends on the reps. Depends. Needs. Sometimes I'll do like four in the beginning, then go to three. If I'm already warmed up and just do more top sets. But mm-hmm. like, it also depends on the muscle group. You know, it's like my back, I always I'll do, do three. Less rep. Legs, I'll I love do more reps, shoulders, more. Yeah. You know, and excluding something that I need to get a little bit extra warmed up for, you know what I mean? Then I'll hit a hit a little kind of warm up set there, just test the weight out a little bit. But yeah, I, I don't. Well, I, count, do I don't even count my warm up sets. So let's yeah, say I, hit, do like- I don't either. Oh, okay, I don't either. But I'm saying, you know, and, and usually my only warm up sets they really do. I'll do like warm up sets for the first exercise, then like yeah. a feeler set for the second one. So I'm already yeah. warm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. It's like a feeler set. Yeah, yeah geez, I throw it on there. I'll still I'll still do maybe eight to ten reps though, because I'm yeah, yeah. going to I feel the contraction with the muscle properly, and then I'll add on the weight. So yeah, same with me. I just get used to the movement. Yeah, it's hey. just warm up the movement. Hey guys. We haven't had any food questions yet. Come on now. It's team crinkle cut or team curly fries. Is crinkle I'm, cut the crisp cut fries? Is, I'm, is, I'm is crinkle, crinkle cut, cut all, the, crin- all the way. What, what are crinkle Ooh. cut? Come on now. You know that. Is that the, pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're both hey. in California. Who the heck pull, says crinkle cut? Pull yeah. up. I think I know what he's talking about. It's like the I little rigid. About- they're like the little rigid ones. I think so. Oh, what was yeah. Quite- yeah. Are you team crinkle cut? or? I can almost, just, I can almost answer this with not knowing exactly what crinkle cut is. I'm gonna say curly fries. I like just grabbing. I'm crinkling that all day. Here you go. I like grabbing. Like you go. No, yeah, fuck those. Those are the worst. (laughs) No, don't, dude. Those are fire if you get them right. Uh, (laughs) Huh? I want to pick my hand in and get like a whole mass of French fries, all just like going like this. Okay, so if you dude, look at that. Those are (laughs) those are fire, dude. Hey, that reminds me of something have like you ever tried them? Would sell. Have you ever <laughs> tried them? Like from... high school, like, like cafeteria kids. Yeah, lunch. like it's like yeah, that's the. <laughs> I've hey, never no, had a good this, crinkle fry. They're they're seasoned so much better than curly fries. <laughs> no, name dude, a, curly, name no. a place that has good fucking crinkle fries. Dude, White I'm, Castle. I'm with, I'm with James. White Castle. Every crinkle cut I've had is just <laughs> so. Zaxby's, bland. dude, dude, tell me, go to Zaxby's and tell me those fries aren't freaking phenomenal i've never even i've never nah, heard of I know. zaxby's i've never even heard of zaxby's what is uh, this? you don't have zaxby's no what is See, this? i've had arby's curly fries what's, those what's are arby's curly arby curly fries are good yeah that's why i'm thinking the same thing james is yeah <laughs> it's like three golden fries curly fries from arby's are good and then compare that to any crinkle it's like the school slash cheap restaurant what fries do y'all think nasty. i want to get those what tonight. do y'all think I get those tonight. Dude, dude. you got to try some good. crinkles, man. No, crinkles. crinkles are like the stuff you make at home. You put in the oven. Yeah, the frozen. little cheap, cheap, cheap yeah. ones from Walmart. Yeah, yeah. You know? Dude, <laughs> dude, I don't know about that, man. I'm not moving my stance on this one. I'm nope. firm. I am firm. Dude, every time I get those crinkle hey, fries, listen, I, it's always like this cheap tasting one. I always toss the rest out. What about so what about this, the crinkle fries? And I'll fucking smash them. Hey, what about uh, what about canes? Have y'all had raisin canes or uh, raisin canes is good. Their cane sauce, that's good. Their, their fry, their fries aren't crinkle, are they? Or are they? If they're good, they're probably not. I think they're crinkle. They might be crinkle. I'm trying to remember. I only get them once in a while, but usually I just get the chicken and the sauce. I'm not the biggest fry guy to begin with, though. Me neither. Yeah, it's always like after second after the thought if I'm still hungry after the meal. My mom always told me fries go to your thumb. Ooh, they are crinkle. Yeah, they are crinkle. I believe so. 
Ooh, but they're still not that this. flavorful, dude. It's really just the this is the cane sauce that I, makes I it know. good. Exactly. Let's see. Yeah, that's some that's some crinkle action right there, boys. Uh that yeah, chicken looks good crinkle, though. Oh crinkle cut. So our uh, coleslaw is pretty decent. So so here's the thing. Our Zaxby's, and this is why I say that they're so good, is the seasoning on them and they're like perfectly cooked you know like not too burnt on the ends and not too chewy in the middle you know what i mean zach's the way a fries should be fries look at this right here zach's piece. now tell is that me this local to you yeah tell me these don't look fire though let's see <laughs> I don't know, one. dude. I still think the cream, the curly ones from Arby's look better. Dude, those right there are fire. They look pretty good. It's only 330 cows. I want more of that. That's that's for regular. You got to get a basket down here. Oh, the you nine, got ten. You gotta get this salt. basket of fries, huh? Oh, 850. 850. Huh? <laughs> They're solid. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just um around you? Or do they have those in Ohio too? Get, give me, uh, actually, give me your, I, I give, give me your zip. Give me your zip. Two, three, give four, me. five, five. Oh yeah, not going there. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Which one? <laughs> the, uh, I'll uh, go to that. I go to the Chesapeake one. I'm not going to Hampton or Newport News though. Fuck that. You gotta go to good? underwater underwater it, tunnel to get in there is it in the ghetto or something yeah it is i wasn't going to say that but yeah well hey listen i live in the ghetto so i can say it hey i used to uh so when i was a probation pro officer um uh, i got free housing and uh just for law enforcement they wanted a law enforcement official of some sort to be in the building because it was garbage. <laughs> and I was like, Hey, no rent for three years. All right. I'll live there. You know, <laughs> Hey, I've been rat holing since day one. That's, that's why I'm, that's why I'm beating James in the Jordan game. Right now. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm beating. Hey, James ain't got this bad boy right here. Now. I know. I know. Huh? What's up? Uh, no. You Look got me, that. man. Yeah. Look at my, They're look looking at icy. a little. A little too clean. They hey, give they're me going to wear on, them. They they're going to on tomorrow. Them. Hey, they're okay. going on tomorrow, big daddy. Okay, as long as it's within the week. Hey, I need to get a Jackie. I need to get a Jackie Chan kick like this. Sah! That would be Those tight, are dope. It? Those are nice, man. I'm proud of you. Well, that was your first. Uh, that was like your first, you know, major pickup. It's my first win of all time on sneakers. First one's the best one. Mm. Yeah. Hey, I've been, they say that I watched the video and, uh, you know how videos go, but they say that your interaction on the sneakers app will give you priority in selection. Like like everything. Yeah. Like in everything they say, uh, they say, if you click the share button and send it to somebody, they're like, oh man, like. Maybe he's going to buy that's more. That's probably just propaganda by the app creators. Probably. Popular. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, it's the more probably you do, still. The more yeah. yeah. It's probably still all run by the bots. And, yeah. Know, <laughs> all those but, Russian uh, porn bots. They're at it again. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I was on that app the week prior longer than I've ever been. And I ended up getting it. You know, so it's kind of, oh. it kind of, it kind of cooperates it's, it. It's how they get bit. you. It's how they yeah. get you. All right. You got to be uh, thirsty to get a drink of water. <laughs> hey, listen, I started this podcast full. I always drink three liters on the podcast. That's why I, I love sitting here just drinking, catching up on my hydration. <laughs> the podcast Late is action, your excuse so. to get hydrated. Well, well, he, lost ten, he lost 10 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll sign it off. Now he's back up to 260. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> without, even eat, without even eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pickle juice and hydration. Hey, there's a thing tomorrow in Nashville, and I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. I'm not sure yet, but uh, sounds like Survivor. <laughs> 
<laughs> like real life survivor. That's what it sounds like. They give you a packing list. Tell you it's an aerial recovery training. It's a three week deal, and uh, it's it's to like whenever there's a natural disaster that anybody that's qualified and has done this type of training, they can go down and help. You know, third world country wherever something's going on. You know, and uh, so I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to use the prep excuse of not going, even though I'd probably eat less there. When in doubt, throw the prep excuse in. <laughs> I love it. Be antisocial. I love it. Get that pro card. Yeah. You got to show to do it. You got to show it. You're win. not getting any younger. You better get hey, that because, pro card this year. Because they do, provide, they do provide three meals over there. Yeah, garbage, not bodybuilding meals. Yeah. yeah. Garbage meals, like I like garbage. <laughs> Sounds like it's just not worth it. No, it's it's, you're probably, it's you're probably, you're probably get a bologna it's, sandwich, some crinkle cut fries. Hey, hey, <laughs> the crinkle cut. <laughs> hey guys, we like questions like that, so uh, y'all keep them coming. Are you gonna uh, go to um? What's that thing happening on May eighth in Tennessee? Yeah, I'll it's be like there. You grand, grand opening. I'm thinking about going. No, oh, it's wait, uh, wait. it's just Rumble in the Borough. Yeah, oh, there's boxing. Yeah, it's it's fully sanctioned. Uh, it's going to have uh, a bunch of booths. I'm probably going to have a booth there. Isn't it free? Yeah. Yeah, because I might drive in because it's not too yeah. far of a drive. Get away on the weekend with the wife and go watch some people punch each other in the face. Be fun. Hey, uh, hey if y'all want to do that. Yeah, he's, he's still yeah. flirting with it. Hey, if y'all want to get a spot, uh, we can go in with uh, Brandon Folken. He's going to have a booth. He's looking for Airbnb. So, if y'all need a place to stay, then we'll have a place. I'm probably going to stay with him just to – hey, nice little Airbnb mansion. Hey, Folken. Let me use the, uh, me use hey, the Folken. excuse. Hey, Folkens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told him I wasn't for sure going to stay, you know, prep excuse. I might uh -huh. drive drive back. After Dude, he's going to bring you like a five-gallon tub of nut butter and have you eat it as a challenge, and then your prep's going to be done. Like a new <laughs> a new flavor, flavor testing. Yeah. Hey, hey, he did tell me he uh, had some sent to me the other day. He said, man, he said, you're getting too skinny. He said, you ain't there. His stuff my is peanut so butter good. While. I was like, right, the cookies and cream one is too easy to eat. Oh, it's so, it way too, too easy. easy. It's too easy, man. Way Dude, too easy. I love easy, the schnozzleberry one too. I like that one as well. The only one I the didn't like was like the yeah. a fudge one. It was like really thick. Was that? Oh the no, brownie? Dude, all of them are good that I've had. Yeah. Dude, the fudge one was like a. You you know why? Chocolate. Because you got to go slow on it. You can't. You can't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fudge one was hey, like a, it was, it was a little sticking too much that, fudge. Stick sticking yeah. to the ribs a little bit. That's why you yeah. just get the milk. Yeah. Oh, the, the s'mores, if you uh, stir that one up, that's pretty good. Shit. Uh, I'm uh, back. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I <could>. What <laughs> one was the one? Was it? Um, all right. Was it the, I think it was s'mores or had all the, yeah, the, all the marshmallow yeah, bits and chunks in it. Oh, yeah. I, I ate that one so quick. It's like you take, Dude. you try to take a little scoop and it's all clumped and you're like, whatever. <laughs> Dude, I tried one that he hadn't come out with yet because he was going to, he let me, make one he's got it on the back burner still he hadn't pulled the trigger but we started working on it and i was like all right dude i want white chocolate i want um salted caramel i want um i want some type of pretzels in it chopped up real fine and i start saying all this stuff and he's like all right and he sent me three different three different containers like a regular peanut butter flavor mixed in with white chocolate covered pretzels ground up and uh some sea salt in it or something uh and then he sent a white chocolate base with chunks of salted caramel in it with i was like dude this i was like this is this is fire but uh he's got that on the back burner and he's got a uh no he just came out with that blueberry finally have you tried that one e either one of y'all no i haven't I don't like my, eat much peanut it's butter anymore. Ever, it's, it's so. a it's a white chocolate peanut butter with freeze dried blueberries in it. it is that nice. sounds good? It is very good. Uh, here, here's another question. Q 
can you can you guys touch on metabolism adaptation how to speed it up to cut body fat quicker i'll say it one more time can you guys touch on metabolism adaptation how to speed it up and cut body fat percentage quicker I mean, from a standpoint, I'd just say carb cycling does work. Straight diets don't work as well. But then you have arguments that say that adaptation isn't as severe as people think. They're just not eating. <laughs> they're eating too much, you know? Some science says that. So I just do carb cycling. Make sure you're dipping down below and then do those refeeds when you're actually getting burnt. Keep your metabolism spinning right. Yeah, I think, you know, cycling the calories and cardio. Yeah. Yeah. It just a, that's a short answer. Yeah. I was gonna, the funny thing I was is like cardio in there too people always say like at least one thing i've observed is people say like when you're a child you're like metabolism is going crazy which is true because you're growing but when high school is over you're you're done growing but your metabolism is still high because you're so active i think it's mostly just your needs way higher and then when you get older you sit at a desk all day hey. help your clients sit at work and so you're not yeah. moving so it's okay, not really so metabolism wait. so much it's just activity level yeah. my well, job and, now me and james was, was 23 that's what, yeah. Hey, tell them what we were talking about earlier, uh, James. Like, like listening to your body. In, in oh yeah, because we were talking you know about what I mean? hunger. Yeah. So like, I know when I'm dieting, and my hunger goes to shit, it means I need to back off the expenditure and I need to increase some calories. Mm -hmm. And because see, you know, there's there's appetite suppressants out there, like hardcore ones that are coming out. I don't know if you you know the more plates, more dates guy was uh had something on there him and the the leo longevity guy about uh yeah um appetite suppressants that are in some type two diabetic medications <laughs> that are frequently prescribed and uh talking about that and you know they're they're saying that it's it's one of the strongest i think it's semi-glutide is the ingredient um and apparently it makes you freaking no appetite whatsoever. And that's how all these people with type two diabetes are, are losing weight and coming, trying yeah, to come out of, that's come out of that. But people. Exactly. The body, exactly. The bodybuilding part. Exactly. You don't necessarily want to just lose weight because you got right. the performance factor. You got the, you know, mm -hmm. muscle tissue factor, fullness. Hey, all and, that stuff. But, and, you're, and you're trying to get to an extreme yeah. level of low body fat which you, you, it's, it's much yeah. trickier than just going from like, say 40% body fat to 20%. Yeah. Well, I was telling, I was telling James, like, I actually like to be hungry and he likes to be hungry too. Yeah. yeah I, I, I like that. Say. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it sucks. I feel like you're working. It, it feels like I'm that, doing something. That's when I know my metabolism is going good. Yeah. Cause if I'm hungry, yeah. I know I'm humming. And, and, that's, and that's how I am. I'm like, yeah, you spent, you spent years learning learning how to respond and learning your body so once you throw in something to alter something i feel like that'd be a terrible idea if you see that's the hard you know, part of working me like, on figuring it out yeah that's the hard part of me and keto diets because you're not as hungry and i just like it like trips me out a little bit you know because i'm like i yeah. should be hungry like crazy right now if i'm yeah. getting lean yeah. but like so that's why the carb cycling like feeling that hunger is just nice and then you feel like your waist is getting way smaller because like yeah it's eating away <laughs> yeah i want i, I want that yeah, yeah, after you pee and your waist yeah. gets all sunken and it hurts, you're like, oh. And I don't, I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. I don't care what anyone says. If you don't feel hungry yeah. and like starving, you're not getting shredded. Yeah, no that's the hard part too. Is some people just hate being hungry. I'm like, those are the people that have the hardest time losing weight. It's like yeah. they there, need to there feel are some the genetic freaks that I've worked with that are not big eaters, and they're just like, they're just whatever. Uh -huh. Even at the even at I the don't. end though, even at the end probably the last last couple of weeks one of the guys i turned pro he, he wasn't he wasn't hungry till last week or but he was eating he was still eating freaking james level macros he was still 250 250 300 carbs you know yeah so i didn't have to do much to him but um what should i eat to become fit what spelled w-a-t what what, what should, should i eat to become fit <laughs> i think you should just ignore it because they don't know how to spell correctly i know i know like white Next what? question i know hey listen i just wanted to i just want to touch on that how broad of a question is that 
very broad because you can get the fit most eating broad anything question. you want. <laughs> Yeah, you can technically get fit eating anything you want, but as long but as it, calories but, it, but at least I'll give them credit. At least they said eat and not take. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, true. All, everybody wants a shortcut these days, man. Yeah, I'll just give the most basic answer ever. Okay, the, per, the perimeter of the grocery store. That is yeah, the best one for good. like newbies. Just yeah. stay away from all the crap food because, yeah. like, yeah. you can eat whatever you want, but caloric dense foods and little snacks. You're not gonna be satiated from it. So if you like James said, stay at the corners of the store to get all the whole foods and whatnot. And then and then go down the middle and uh get oatmeal. Or rice. Yeah, go down the middle, get oatmeal yeah. and rice. Yeah. Oatmeal rice. Yeah. <laughs> get you it. some rice cakes in there too, boy. You might want those, a little snacky those, snack. Those are the foods that you fit. Yeah. How about how about um the line up the grocery store though? Because you know how it is during prep. Sometimes you just want to get in and get out and you just walk straight to the back. It's so easy because it never changes. The inner aisles will change. Yeah. But like Costco, it's like you know where that meat is. You're just like going straight to that meat section. Like, yeah. <laughs> get in, get out. I don't go by the ice cream. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> answer it differently than y'all. What should I eat to become fit? Well, if you're not fit, you're probably eating too much. More than likely. Well, that's why you're, I said you not, can eat whatever not, you want you know. as long as you're eating in a deficit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So technically, that's all it is. Yeah. It's calories in, yeah. calories out. But right. every food is a little bit different. Macro makeup. So, Well, you, you get in the micronutrient makeup, which makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. But not on the just getting fit level. Now getting like shredded level, that's probably Hey, listen to this. But listen getting to this. Fit, like, I don't know if y'all listen yeah. to I don't you know. Just feel better if you're micro. Yeah, better. it depends yeah. how well you actually want to be running. It's like car yeah. engine. You can make yeah. it drive with hey, some crap. You hey, it, but listen you to this. To I'm about to better. hurt y'all's feelings. I'm about to hurt y'all's feelings because Doreen Yates said he ate a chocolate candy bar every day post workout during prep. He was yeah, on food ads. He was on food ads. Uh, don't spoil it. I, I, I know. I haven't, I haven't I watched, watched it yet. One fourth of it. I haven't watched it yet. Stop it. <laughs> I've watched some of it earlier, and I need to watch the rest tonight. But I've, I've, I've watched. I've watched that. I had to work today, man. Come on, dude. That's yeah. that's the that's the. I'm watching episode. that. I'm watching that on the plane tomorrow. Hey, we're only ninety episodes away from our hundredth episode. <laughs> no, you I'm need to about. interview people, though. You can't just get us on there. This is more <laughs> like a random chat and question answer. So yeah. you need to actually start getting guests on the show. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to. This is the ain't chat. much time, ain't much time in the day, guys. Hey, it's hard enough to get this figured out. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I didn't have to work during the week, then I've guaranteed I'd open it wide open, you know, just to do something. But uh, I think I got uh, one more question in me, man. They got to run off the train. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's time to turn for you, ain't it? Let's get a good one. All right, I've got a good one but I've got to go to the DMs because it was I have a, a quick four, one. Four Someone asked, question. how do I grow um, Instagram following? Cause I only have seven followers and they're all bots. <laughs> so, That's the wrong guy. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I uh, Bartley knows the most, but what I've noticed just through the trends of mine, when I get in shape and when I post like in-depth things about my prep, people yeah. follow. And then when I'm in the off season, people unfollow because I'm not providing them with anything that they want. So you pretty much just need to provide the viewer or the audience with yeah. something that intrigues them or something that they learn from you pump the content i you know how yeah. can you how can you benefit someone else you know I, th I think you need to find out what audience you want to target and you gotta figure yeah. out how to provide value to that but you also just need to do what you like like you post shoes because you like shoes partly post everything because he does everything you know i so post I nothing i think if you <laughs> yeah i think if you're trying to do like a fitness page i'm guessing um you have to also, you have to give like some like training stuff, some big stuff, and then some like right. just personal life stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. you end up, people want the connection to you. Right. They don't just, not just because of your information. Hey, hey, I'm about to start hitting these uh, heaters. Hey, that adds another, another uh, little spectrum there. Just, yeah, copy my hashtags I use for my sneaker pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need, you need to send them to me. Okay. Yeah. I'll copy yeah. paste them. Yeah. That'd be solid. All right, so here's the question. And before this, James, do you want to reveal the heater of the week or do you want to wait till after? 
Yeah, we're just we're gonna rock these tonight. So we'll just do the Jordan mm. one, two thousand so queen, royal. Just uh, yeah. oh sir, oh sir, oh, oh, OG classic. That is OG. That that gonna the die in these today. <laughs> hey, do you ever mi mix and match them? Like one uh, one one bread, one bread, I, one royal. I used to, but it's kind of not feeling. I, ha it? I have the top three, so I don't need to. Oh, okay, you got the. The ones you know, that come something. like that, the packs. Yes. Yes. See how Ooh. that's different? Yeah. Dude, that is nice. Yeah. Well, that's he got we got two heaters this week for the price of one, guys. All right. Here's the last question. <laughs> this is a good it's a four part, okay? Number number two part of it is who's your two gym buddies you're going with. So we're not we can't do each other because we want to add some entertainment here. So you're going to have to pick two gym uh, legends. Oh, legends, not they friends. Have, yeah, not, not okay. friends. Let's, let's okay. make it legends. Okay, so, all right. This is question is the perfect workout. Number one, what gym are you at? Two, who's your two gym legends? Three, what are y'all training? Four post workout meal. Where at? This, this is a great fucking question. This is. Good. No, I'm gonna make this super easy. This is so. This I'm is Hunter pick, Butcham coming I'm, in again. I'm gonna pick Arnold and Lou because I feel like there'd be great banter there. The two tall giants. You're two so, people I've looked up to. So classic, dude. For, and then I'd go to Gold's Gym, right? And we would probably chain chest, chest and arms. Just so that classic. old school pump with the stringer, and then oh, go to God. the firehouse and eat. Oh some my God! Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right there, hey. walk down the hey. street. <laughs> hey, I've done that multiple times. I just didn't oh, have the two dude, legends those chocolate with chocolate banana pancakes. Have y'all been there and done that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, dude. I have. So good. Me and my best I, I, I never trained at Golds. I, tra I trained at the beach. I never trained at Golds. Oh, you trained oh. the outside one? Yeah. Yeah, Muscle Beach. Muscle Beach. Muscle yeah. Beach. Yeah. Oh, dude, we need to. We need to have a reunion one day. Dude, we should all go down there one year. That'd be sick. Yeah. Muscle Beach with some like uh, muscle yeah. shorts on. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, we were do it this summer while we're lean. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're you all know, gonna be lean dude, at the same time. We could get some killer content down there. There's like a lot of homeless people on that beach right now. Though. Oh, it's like a great. Lot, like, like, a, like a lot. Oh, I there's so much sightseeing, but all the cracked out people. Yeah, it's bad right now there because of the COVID. <laughs> Always. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotten that area has gotten yeah, really bad because of COVID. Yeah. All right, we'll go to Miami instead. No I don't know. I kind of have this figured out except for the location of the gym. No, no, Casey, what are y'all uh what are y'all training? Oh, I said chest, chest and arms. Just so you can get that old school old full oh, pump yeah. with Arnold. Okay. Like gotcha. think of Arnold and Lou just pumped right there at their chest oh, like thing. Yeah. Get that Getting a good workout with chest with them yeah. would be fun too. All right. James, what do you got? <sighs> Could be kind of weird. I'm gonna go Ronnie. Not like this isn't their prime we're talking about, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Go on. Yeah, Ronnie. obviously. I'm not trying with old Arnold. <laughs> he still gets down though. Uh, I know, but not not the same. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with Ronnie and Branch Warren. Oh, dude, you stole mine. I I was gonna say both of those. I'm going Ronnie and Branch in Metroflex. We're trading legs. Oh, dude, that is brutal. It's a death wish. Brutal. That is a death, that is a yes, death wish. Is. And oh. post workout, since I'm in Texas, probably gonna, I'm, I don't know. Like this, I'm I'm gonna use Ron. I'm gonna use Branch's recommendation on where to go get a great like steak in texas like some local i like, thought ooh, i nice. thought you're gonna say you didn't go hunt some boar afterwards and eat that no i don't eat boar i don't like no. i know <laughs> they just they just kill them to like fucking i know because they're pests yeah they're pests and then they give it to the homeless oh yeah maybe people. maybe i'll just go grill out and branch his yard and like eat deer and shit oh dude yeah that's the experience right yeah. there or you, you know what i mean is, that is a, a branch yeah, home cuts, a branch cuts. a branch home cooked meal yeah that would yeah, be that's what i would do solid that's what I would do. Uh, he got a nice place too. His house and he's got a nice ranch yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, that'd be dope. So, or I don't know, so, maybe even Ronnie. I like get Ronnie family cookout. That'd probably be really good. Actually, yeah. Oh, you got hey, his famous grits, dude. 
yeah, yeah. pre-workout meal grits and cheese yeah. and then have a branch meal afterwards uh, yeah hey you think know, about like, it you want some think... barbecue sauce on this <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what i was about to say <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait till the barbecue he sauce probably, he stash probably makes comes some good out. Plates. You get some good plates oh, at Ronnie's man. place. Right. Hey, talking about some ribs. I'd you like to have you, ribs at Ronnie's. You know what you uh, eat at a, pick, at a cookout? You got your plate yeah. like this and your legs pinched. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want to be at Ronnie's. Yeah, that would be solid. So mine's very similar. Um, I was going to say Ronnie and Branch, but I could roll with uh, Ronnie and Jay just because – those are my two favorite in, you know, coming up. So I would want to do, I'll, I'll do that just to be different from James's. So Ronnie uh, and Jay, right? Mike's Ron, Ronnie, Ronnie and Jay. Okay. Um, leg day at uh, Bay of Francis. Ebbs. Yeah, the East Coast Mecca. I've been there. That's why. Them plates like, are heavy. Yeah. They're like 48 pounds a piece. That's classic they're 40, right there. They're not 45. Hey, they're I was going to, I was going to say destination. Dang. It's, it's hard not to, Casey's got the best answer, man. That's just, I mean, cause you can still that. work out like a maniac there. You can still work yeah. out like a maniac there. The videos of Ronnie though, growing up were like mind blowing to me. Yeah. So like if yeah. I could go relive that. I feel in, you. Like, in I feel that, that's that nostalgic. Crunchy, yeah. Yeah. See, I just watched Pumping Iron over and over, so that's my. <laughs> hey, Destination so talking, Dallas. So you're talking golds in the '70s, not the golds thought, now. Well, golds now because I've been to golds now. And that's my favorite workout location. And then hey, you the, don't want to go to golds house. now. They're out in tents. <laughs> hey, hey, golds now the got tents out front. Pretty fun, man. A <laughs> hey, little uh, ocean breeze hitting your back probably look pretty good. Get a little yeah. What's his? What's get a little his tan name? going um, on. Michael, what is his name? Michelangelo, the guy we compete with at USA's. He even posted yeah. now in those tents. Yeah. Hey, when I get a little bit leaner, I'm going to hit up uh, GM5 in Nashville. They got an outdoor section. Boy, you can get some, hey, get a little tan going on. It almost feels like a mini Mecca out there. Yeah, I'd be pouring buckets yeah. out working outside. Yeah. Yeah. But we better get off here. In, yeah, uh, man. You didn't, James, you didn't say we're going to eat, though. James. You didn't say we're going to eat. Uh, I'm no, doing I a didn't. huge. Oh, I'm, I'm going pizza. hard. I'm going so hard tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tomorrow you're going hard. Yeah, because I'm flying to. I, no, I'm flying to Boston tomorrow, and so I'm going hey. to my favorite pizza place ever. Ooh, yeah. Post hey. pictures. Yeah. Wear this okay. shirt. Wear rip this. I'll pack. The, I'm gonna pack rip, that. It's already kind of set curve. aside. Yeah, it's packed yet, but it's set aside. Hey, <laughs> I can't. I can't wait to see these heaters right there. Regina's. That's what it's called. Yeah great i've never been there but so it's, it's, it on, it's, on, it's on par with uh new york new york level yeah yeah, yeah maybe I'm, not I'm, quite but it's close i'm i'm sure port noise got a review we'll have to check it out you know he's been there oh yeah that's his stomping grounds there so <laughs> all right guys well nine weeks out how many weeks out james 13 tomorrow 13 cases. Yeah, I think I'm about the same as James. I think 13. I can't check my phone. I'm just kind of filling back up and then getting in shape. Hey, Flex, Casey. Ah, Thumbnail. Thumbnail. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. (laughs) See y'all, boys. All right, catch you guys later. Have a good workout, James. Thanks, man. Safe travels.